The telltale sign oftentimes is when you take a pumpkin patch or a melon patch that looks nice and colorful like this. And then in less than even some cases uh, 24 to 48 hours you start seeing effects like this where the coloration starts to change. Browns and yellows start showing up and problems become apparent and then again as you pan in and look at the leaves very very closely you start to see the evidence of the powder on the surface discoloration in the leaves and by that point it's almost too late as you can see if you look very closely at a leaf with powdery mildew on it on the surface at first will be a lot of little speckles the speckles look like cottony growth they're very soft and if you if you flick it oftentimes you'll see I don't know whether you can see that in the camera but a powdery dust will fly off and that dust is what we call powdery mildew that's actually the spores moving and powdery mildew comes out here and infects these plants under high heat and humidity conditions especially where there's free moisture in the evenings and at night and it spreads literally like wildfire Another problem is if we look deep in the canopy, and you can see here along the vine, the vine is starting to be able to coat with powdery mildew as well. And if you get pretty close to it, right down next to it and rub it, you'll see you can rub the spores off. That's the powdery effect that you get. That's a very dangerous proposition to get into real early in the season like this. And what's the problem with getting powdery mildew too soon? Well, here we are, and this is just the first of August. You can see here's a beautifully developing pumpkin on this crop. And uh, what we'll find is oftentimes we can go ahead and mature the pumpkins if we get enough length of time with the leaves. But once they're exposed to the bright sunlight too early in the season, then your pumpkins are going to die prematurely and more than likely bake in the field. You want to be careful in looking at the plants that you don't misdiagnose it. Here's a good example of a pumpkin leaf with a very, very dramatic genetic spotting in it, which is normal. And you see it has that what looks like light colored growth in the center. But this is all part of tissue. As you flip it over, you see nothing on the back side. And the surface just has a little lightning in the leaves, and that's a genetic trait. And there's no uh, powdery feel or look to this. That's simply genetics in the pumpkin, and it's perfectly fine.